Hey everybody, Lon Seidman here with a product review, this time for the laser tag gun. It's a laser tag blaster, I believe they call it. Uh, this is from Hasbro, and it's a the latest iteration on a very old line of toys that I used to play with when I was a kid, and uh, my friends and I used to play for hours running around outside shooting each other with these things. Um, this is uh, a new version now that uses the iPhone and the iPod Touch to augment the reality of the game, and I'll show you what that means in a second. But uh, it's fairly bulky, so it may not be great for, for young kids. Uh, it does have some, some heft to it, although it's easy to hold with uh, two hands. Um, it has a little reload thing down here, and it's got a two-part trigger, one to shoot your, your opponents with and the other to put up a virtual shield uh, to protect yourself, and those things are limited based on, on the game that you select. Uh, but one of the coolest things is that it does work with the iPhone and the iPod. Now, it only works with the iPhone 4 and 4S and newer versions of the uh, iPod. It also works with the iPhone uh, 3GS as well. And you have to take the case off of it if you have one and put one of these little rubber gaskets on if you're using the iPhone 4. Um, so let's just put it in here. And it seals in pretty nicely. It actually, the, the iPhone 3 uh, it doesn't need a gasket. It just goes right in. What's nice is that it does seal it in fairly securely. And actually, one thing I just forgot to do, and this is a pain in the butt, but you have to do it, um, is you have to plug in this um, audio cable as well, because this is how the gun communicates with the app while you're playing. So it doesn't have any real digital interface. It's more sending signals through the audio connection. It actually channels the sound of the app through the gun with that as well. So, um, so once you get that secured, you just open up the app. has room for the home button, so you can push that as well. I can see this being a problem once, uh, once the, uh, the new iPhone comes out because uh, it does, it's not going to fit in here if it is as big as they say it's going to be. So when the app loads up, it just takes a second to go through all these things. You have some options. You can play single player, multiplayer, uh, the armory where you can upgrade uh, how the gun works, and of course there are in-app purchases for that, but you can also um, work your way up the ladder as you play. And we'll turn the gun on here. And you can play solo where everybody's on their own team pretty much, or you can uh, have people go into teams and you'll see how this augmented reality system will work here. So it's going to count down as we start. And what it's doing is it's using the camera on the iPod or the iPhone, uh, but also overlaying the, thank you, uh, it says good luck, um, but it's also overlaying uh, the laser beam as I'm firing here. Um, when you're in a, uh, a match, uh, and, and I can overlay some footage of that, when you hit your opponent, it, it displays an explosion on the screen, and it does keep score as you move along, too. Um, you can run out of ammo, and you have to reload it here as well. So it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool in how it works. But my biggest gripe with it is, is that none of these guns talk to each other. So as you're, as you're playing, there's really no score being kept. Your gun keeps track of how often you're getting hit and how often you're hitting someone else, but there's no statistics that tell you who you hit and how often and, and all those cool things you get at a laser tag uh, arena when you're done. The devices are fully capable of doing that, so uh, maybe that's something we might see in the future. The other problem is, is that because these guns don't talk to each other, it doesn't really enforce any rules of the game, so there's really nothing to prevent somebody from turning their gun off and turning it back on again if they decided they got hit too many times and, and want to cheat a little bit, so I can see some, some sibling fights happening over that. The other problem I've been having having with it is that the app crashes quite a bit, especially on my iPhone 4S. So as you're playing, all of a sudden, as you've seen, when your iPhone app crashes, it just dumps you back out to the desktop and you have to start over again. And that can you know, certainly put a, put a damper in, in, in the fun. Uh, and really what happens is because the screen is just so large, um, there's really not a lot of ability to see, you know, uh, aim the gun at all when you have this, this adapter attached to it. It does come with another adapter so you can play without the iPhone attached. So some players can play with the iPhone and some can play uh, without it, which is pretty, a pretty nice feature. But um, beyond that, that crashing problem can be a real pain in the butt. But <laughs> I should say that this is a fun toy. It's uh, it certainly improved the laser tag game from when I was a kid, and uh, it's it's definitely worth considering. And the price is pretty reasonable. They're about thirty nine dollars uh, a piece. So uh, you know you can get a couple of guns for the kids and and send them outside, and you won't see them until the uh, the batteries die. It does run on six double A's for the gun itself. Uh, they have a, a screw um, securing them, so you have to get a screwdriver out to put the batteries in, which can be a little bit of a hassle. And, of course, you have to make sure that your iOS device remains charged. And I can tell you that augmented reality games like this certainly do 
uh, drain the iPod and iPhone frequently, so or, or rapidly. So you want to make, be, bear that in mind as well. So that's my review of the laser tag gun. I hope they do improve it. It's a lot of fun, even though it's got some ser some serious flaws, I think, in the software. Uh, but those could probably resolve themselves over time. Uh, and it's from Hasbro. Thanks for watching.